All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the My Tesla channel. My name is Jeremiah, and in this video, well, you read the title. Going to be taking delivery of my brand new 2022 Model 3 Performance. Now, if you're watching this video, then that means I've already uploaded the whole why I sold my 21 long range after like 10 months of ownership. I go into like all the numbers in that video, and I think it's super interesting. Uh, but if you want to check it out, you can after this video because I think this video is going to be really good too. So now in an effort to keep this video somewhat on the shorter side, I'm going to go ahead and rapid fire some information that I know some people might have or might be curious of. So first up, I ordered the car on June 19th of, of course, this year, so 2022. And whenever I originally ordered the SMA delivery uh, like time frame that Tesla gave me was June to August. And then about a week after ordering, because that first initial week, it just stayed at June to August after I ordered. Uh, about a week after that, it finally did update and I got the infamous like super early EDD that I think everyone gets. And I think Tesla does it on purpose, I guess, like give you hope. Uh, but mine stated July 14th through the 28th. So that was a turnaround time of like at the earliest, like three weeks possibly. But then about a week later, it ended up uh, updating uh, to, I believe it was August 6th through like September 3rd. So about a month time frame. but it fell in line with what I was originally told when I ordered the car. Uh, and it stayed there for like an entire month, all the way up to the end of July. At the end of July, it finally updated again to, it was a two week window and it was August 16th through the 30th. Uh, and then literally, cause I think I got that on a Monday and then on like, the following Thursday, it updated again to August uh, 17th through the 31st. And then literally the next day on a Friday around 2 p.m., I got a, a text message telling me that my VIN had been assigned, which if y'all watched my, you know, my long range ordering process, you know that I never got a text about my VIN. But this time I did get a text and my VIN was assigned on a Friday at 2 p.m. So I think it took roughly somewhere around like high 30, low 40 days uh, from order to VIN. And then four hours later on that same day, I got a text asking me to schedule delivery. So uh, yeah, and then I was given, of course, the whole, you know, three days. So I think it was a Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday. Today is Sunday. We are taking delivery today at 5 p.m. Uh, we were supposed to take delivery yesterday, but the car was delayed in transit. Uh, and they had to push it back by a day, which isn't really a big deal. But yeah, that's essentially the whole rundown uh, with my order and my weight. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can drop them below and I'll get back to you. But uh, let's go ahead and let's go pick up my new car because I got to be there at five. Uh, actually, I, I don't know why I said let's go pick up. I, I think it's like it's like two o'clock and we don't have to be there till five. So we still have some time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take number 10,000. Uh, we're in the car. We're on the way. Uh, I threw on a hoodie just to signify it is the next day. So it's not the same exact day that in the clip that you just saw, they texted me again. It got delayed again. They told me it wasn't going to be till Tuesday. And then this morning they texted me and told me that it's here today. So it's, it's just been all over the place. I, uh, I'm just happy to finally be on the way to get it. So, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's it. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So three o'clock we're here. I cannot review terms or accept delivery. I believe it's because I did not go through Tesla for my financing. I went through a third party just because Tesla's APRs right now are pretty high. Uh, so I think I have to actually go in and give them a check prior to them like letting me get in my vehicle or like letting me review terms and accept. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna be like recording anything. I don't wanna seem like weird, but uh, I will be able to record me accepting delivery. So let's go. All right, so we did end up having to go inside and uh, drop off the check, but now we are fully uh, eligible to accept delivery within the account as you can see right here accept and then it kind of just goes over the blah 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 you're accepting delivery and then accept and then done and then I think there's like confetti yeah there's like confetti that falls and there we go I just say okay. And there it is. Mm. Hey, come here. Oh. Hey, yeah, you hey, recording? Yeah, so here's the first look. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is a little bit different than before. So yeah, we ended up getting, as you all saw, black exterior, white interior. Well, dude, these seats are so white. Oh my goodness. 
Ah, that, that new car smell. I'm just trying to get my seat adjusted down. All right, so we have all this stuff to do up here. They have my name on it and everything. So we just have a few things to sign. All right, so we have a few things to sign, just uh, some initials and I gotta drop back off. Uh, there are three, no, there's, so there's four things I'm looking for right now. Um, one, did I get a mobile charger, right? Two, uh, do I have matrix headlights, which I think I do, I think I already saw that. Three, uh, Ryzen chip, four CCS support. I'm about to check through all of that. We can go ahead and check two of them right now. All right, so first up, I think we just gotta go to software and then additional vehicle information. Yeah, we got the CCS adapter support enabled and the AMD Ryzen chip. And we also got the low voltage, the lithium ion battery. So that's huge. Now we just gotta step outside and see if we did indeed get matrix. So how you can tell if they're matrix is they don't have the bulb right here. Uh, next up, let's check trunk. Trunk I think is where they normally put it. Oh look, look at this spoiler. Let's go, and it comes with this. All right, so yes, it has literally everything. Like, it literally has everything. It even came with the charger. And uh, I have, like, I bought a charger uh, to, like, charge it with. So I guess I can send that back now, which is really nice. Um, so there's just some basic papers that you need to sign. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to show, like, any information or anything. I'm just going to get it all set up. I am going to do a checklist real quick. Uh, it's just, it's super basic. I don't really care, like... I, I, I couldn't care less about like a tiny little micro scratch from the paint or like a pan. I, I couldn't care less. I, I, I really don't. I uh, just went through the stream, screen real quick and kind of set up all the controls. So like petting, pe pedal and steering. I didn't really touch charging. I went ahead and I turned all this on uh, for collision warning early uh, locks. I went ahead and got the phone key set up. Uh, walk away on door lock, uh, unlock on park, lock confirmation, call up to open notifications. Yes, yeah, I all that. I didn't really touch that display. Eh, I kind of just left everything how it is. This right here is a big one, all right? As soon as you get the car, go, go ahead and change this bottom one right here. I think it'll say like trip B, change it to lifetime and then never reset this. So like no matter what mileage you're at, you'll know what your like overall energy, like your average watt hours per miles are. So I always recommend changing this to lifetime. By uh, navigation, I, I, everything else is just super, super basic. Uh, literally didn't change anything at all, so. I am so red. Maybe wearing the hoodie wasn't a good idea. I was getting pretty hot, you know? All right, so I uh, just signed the paperwork. I uh, did the checklist. E -e everything's fine. I mean, and if it isn't, I mean, I, I couldn't find anything that wasn't fine. Check yours over there. These, these are the only two things that we haven't checked. Yeah, they work. <clears throat> so literally everything's good with the car. Like everything's perfect. All right, so finally made it home, and I do want to apologize for the abrupt cut. Uh, I ended up rambling there at the end before I left the delivery center, and like I said, I don't want this video to be too long, so I ended up just cutting it. But now that I am home, uh, I've realized that at no point did I actually go to the front of the car to film it for this video. So yeah, here's a picture, and then here's a picture of it with tint, and then tint and PPF. So I've already done a few things to it, but yeah, my bad. Thought I filmed that? Apparently I didn't, so... Uh, yeah, but now I do want to quickly go over two things that I meant to uh, like kind of record and talk about when I was taking delivery, but didn't. Uh, first up being the inspection plus checklist. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Do your checklist. Um, be as thorough as you want with the car. I'll have a really good checklist link down below. I said that I didn't really care. And well, that's just because I only really cared about major damage. So like major paint damage or major alignment issues or things not working like the honk or the, the honk, the horn not working or the trunk not working or windows not rolling up and down, doors not latching. All that worked and it was fine. So my books, it was great. Now I did actually end up doing a full-on inspection when I got home because I was like, wow, that car, you know, cause I had done inspections. I'd looked at, you know, a ton of Teslas before and I knew what to look for. And I was like, that thing looked really well put together. And I was like, is it actually? And I went outside and I ended up doing a thorough checklist. And I was like, man, like, it, it, it is in my opinion much better put together than my long range was like my long range had alignment issues and just a bunch of stuff i mean this car is solid so uh you know they they uh, keep on saying that tesla's quality is getting better every year and honestly i 100 percent agree with it 
Uh, but yeah, no, don't be like me. Do your inspections. Okay. Do your checklist. Like I said, really nice one linked down below. Uh, the second thing I wanted to mention is that I did end up setting up Teslify. That was, that, that would have been really boring for me to show because it was me just entering in stuff and then getting it all set up. If you don't know Teslify, they're not sponsoring this video or anything like that. I mean, come on, I have like 2000 subs. Uh, I just personally like them. I'm a huge nerd for this type of stuff, like stats and just how the car performs and just everything like that. And that's what Teslify is. Uh, so I ended up getting that set up. Like I did not move out of that spot until I had it set up because I wanted the full lifetime of the vehicle recorded, uh, logged everything like that. So I could see it all and I can make tons of comparisons. Uh, so if you, you know, if you're kind of a nerd like that and you like stats and numbers and seeing how your car is, you know, how efficient it is and just everything like that, uh, then you can check out, uh, Teslify. I'll throw a link down in the description. You can just sign up for it. And I think they give you like 14 days free. Uh, now I do have a personal link and a code. Uh, if you do use that, then you'll get like 30 days free instead of 14. So, uh, yeah, you can try it out for a whole month. Um, another reason why I really like it is if you use your car for business and you track miles instead of needing like a, like a mile tracking app that also tracks like, uh, like GPS location, it does that as well. And you don't ever have to turn anything on. It's literally just a set it up one time and then get in your car and it'll automatically log the API or fetch the API. And it just, it, it's just amazing. It's great. Really recommend Teslify, especially if you're like a nerd stat head like me or you use it for business also like me, but yeah, no. So now time for the overall or my overall delivery experience. It was very seamless as pretty much all Tesla delivery days are you literally show up or like these deliveries can be really fast if you want them to. Like if, if you did everything through Tesla, you could be in and out of there in like 10 minutes with your car. Like it's super, super fast. And you could like literally not have to talk to anyone because the only like physical thing that you would need to do would be to like initial some papers and then just drop them in like a drop box. And then, and then you can literally just leave, uh, or you can be as thorough as you want and you could spend hours there. Uh, but if you are spending hours there, I do recommend that, uh, you move out of the way for if, if there's like a dedicated, you know, like pickup spot that you're in, like mine has a dedicated pickup spot, but I uh, know. Yeah. I ended up picking up on a Sunday. So it was actually pretty dead there that day. Like no one else was taking delivery at the same time as me. There were cars parked around me, but no one was there getting them. Um, but no, yeah. Uh, delivery is, is super, super seamless. Uh, and yeah, overall car is great. Drives great. Had it now for about a month and, uh, yeah, everything about it's been a plus, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you are new here and you do want to see more Tesla related content, uh, then feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to drop a like and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.